Hi, this is a quick tour of how to set up your Mac to make it easier to use for all your projects. First of all, we'll want to go to System Preferences. And you'll want to adjust your mouse. You can notice that moving the mouse takes quite a bit of effort here. So set the tracking, double clicking, and scrolling. Another thing you'll need is button three set. If you're left handed, you probably want to switch primary and secondary buttons. And the rest can be left the same. And we click on this. And normally you would want to have both of these on fast and on a short delay. However, auto repeat for keys doesn't work anymore by default. And you need to open up a terminal to do that. And we don't have terminals on these computers. Okay, another thing that you want to do is set up the dock. Okay, because the screen is wider than it is tall, I like to put the dock on the left. And we can make this icon smaller. And we can use magnification, so that's magnification. If it's too big, you want to you can reduce the size of the magnification. Okay. So we're done with system preferences. There's a lot of icons in the dock, and you might not want all of them. For Mint 8, you don't need Adobe Illustrator. Sorry, you need to hold it out here, and it'll remove it. And you don't need Dreamweaver, and you don't need InDesign. And you're not going to need Eclipse and Visual Studio, and Xcode. And you don't need any of these either, but I'll let you play with that on your own. We can adjust volume over here, or you can also use F12 and F11. If you're gonna use volume in my class, make sure that you have earbuds. You can adjust the brightness too. This is with F2 and F1. You might not want it so bright. And if you've accidentally removed an app, let's say we've removed Word by mistake, then you need to click on the desktop, so anywhere on this background picture, and go to Applications. And these are in alphabetical order. Microsoft Office, you have to open up. And then you just take Word or any other program that you want to add that's not on the dock by default. And that's how you adjust the dock. Okay, so as I'm doing this, I'm click, drag, and hold. Okay, another thing that you want to adjust is your clock doesn't have the date by default, so just open the date preferences and click on clock and show date. And there you go. Okay, Adobe Acrobat Reader doesn't open by default in Safari because You need to accept the terms of use. Okay, so accept this agreement, and then you can quit, and then you can close this up. So let's open up Safari. And by default, it doesn't have view favorites, so let's show the favorites bar. So you don't need some of this stuff. Right click and delete. Right click and delete. And you probably want to add Carson's website here, carsongraham.ca. Okay, and then we bookmark it. Add it to bookmark. And you want to add it to favorites. And you probably want to shorten this up. And add. And now Carson's here. Again, you can drag these around to wherever you need them. Same thing on the dock. 
if you wanted to move Word up to the top, you just click and drag. So set the order that you're comfortable with. You'll need my website, so the Pi Guy, Pi without an E, dot CA. Okay, and then you want to bookmark this page. And if you're in Mint 8, you'll need Manage Back. Oops, Carson Graham dot Manage Back dot com. Please don't go to just Manage Back because it's not specific to Carson Graham. And then you bookmark this page. And you can just change that to Manage Back. So another bookmark that you'll want is if you're using Gmail or Microsoft Mail or whatever, just add your email to your bookmark. Okay, and that does it for Safari and bookmarks. Let's open up Word. Oops. And let's open up PowerPoint. Okay, so you can see that the windows generally open up to the whole screen. And you might want to have that to make it easier to work. You can resize your windows by dragging on the edges. But it's still hard because you still need to drag things around to click on the application that you want. A quick way to switch between applications is hold the command key down and hit tab. And hit tab as many times as you need to get to the application that you want. And then let go of command. Okay? So that's a quick way to switch apps. Just to go back to Safari, if we go to my website and you're looking for something, there's lots of PDF formats. This rubric is in PDF, and you can see that this loads with a Adobe Acrobat because we accepted the license agreement. Okay, back to Word. So, test. So how do you save your files? And this is for all programs. So you wanna save it to documents. You could save it to your network drive, but it could crash the machine. So it's best to save it on the local hard drive. And it's private, so you don't have to worry about people deleting your documents. So save it to documents. And this is not your home folder on the network. This is access to your local folders. Okay, so you want to save to documents. And we'll save it as test. And that's fine. So we save. Okay, we can minimize these windows and so we don't need them. And we'll go to documents. This is your network folder. So I can take this, click, and then click and drag. And you'll see that plus sign come up and you can put it in another folder or you can just put it in the root. And I'll just replace that. Okay, so what does this do? It backs up your files for one thing. And for another thing, you can go to Carson and go to Portal and log in. And then you go to Home Drive. And on your home drive, if you're working at home, you can go to this portal as well. You can see this test, test document is on there. And then all you have to do is download it at home. And then when you're done editing your file, you can upload it. And then when you come back to school, it'll be available on your home folder. And that completes this quick tour of the Mac.